Hey guys, so this is going to be to compile uh, Fstretch on Windows. So what you got to do is just open this up here. Yep. And here you just say no. Okay, so um, you gotta go to properties here, and here you got like whatever version of Maya you want to uh, you want to compile for. So if you want to change that, because uh, they're not all in there, sometimes you, like for a new version you have to create your own uh, profile here. So you go in the configuration manager. So it's split into debug and release. So basically, debug is when you're uh, you're developing this thing, and then you just want to have like to to release it in debug. So um, when you have some bugs in Maya, it's easier to debug uh, with Visual Studio, which is basically what you need, by the way, Visual Studio to uh, do the compilation. Um, so yeah, but you should always. Otherwise, when it's done, you should always just uh, compile using the release one. So I would advise just going in with release all the time, actually. Um, so you go, let's say you want to make it for 2014, you go new. And then just grab, like, 2013. It's going to copy the settings over from this one. And name it release 2014. Video test, whatever. Okay. Uh, make sure you're in uh, x64. All the versions of Maya now are all in 64 bit anyway, and everything prior that was in 32 bit has already been compiled and is in the um, in the builds. So you can already go grab these if you need any 32 bit versions. So, okay, uh, yeah, so that's 64, that's perfect, all good, just scroll up here, so now you see it here, active 64, sweet. Um, now, you gotta just change these path here on C++, C++, just change that path to 2014. Uh, make sure, like, you can go browse, make sure, like, this path uh, is the right one on your computer. You're just pointing out to the include folder found in the Maya installation directory, basically. This one here, same thing, but in the lib folder. So 2014 here as well. And that should pretty much be it. So now you see here 2014. Or, um, here. Okay, so if you go to the folder here, you see that's that's all you got in this folder. But if you go uh, build, build solution, so now it's going to be doing all the compiling. <clears throat> Sweet, so it just uh, succeeded here. Um, so you can uh, go back to that folder, and you see you're going to have these two guys created. Uh, you want to go into this one, and you have your .mll. So that's the final product. Uh, this file, you just load it into Maya, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you don't, this one doesn't hold all the registration thing. I stripped everything out of this code. So you should uh, you you don't have to register or deal with any licensing thing at all. It's all open. Um, that's pretty much it. So hope you enjoy.